Now, the Baja isn't an event that one can call a race. In fact, it's rather a test of man and machine. Of course, the men in this case are students of automobile engineering and their machines hand-built all-terrain vehicles. So what's all the hype behind the SAE Baja 2012? Well, sit back and check it out. In our line of work, we often spend long and laborious weekends toiling away in the sun and the dirt. Quite like these fellas. most of the time it's actually road testing cars that have already been designed and manufactured by different auto companies. However, once a year we get to hop it out to places like Pithampur in Indore to get a taste of how it is that students of automotive engineering really learn their craft. From designing, engineering, planning to manufacturing and marketing the project vehicles, for those looking to score full marks in automotive engineering, this is the real ground. And for those who prove their metal, the SAE Baja 2012 is an international platform to not only showcase their design and engineering skills, but also display their strengths in teamwork, entrepreneurial skills and management. But we're auto folk. So we'll just stick to the nuts and bolts without getting too much into the management jargon. So what is the Baja? Where did it come from? Sit back and delve into a glimpse of the origins of this unique competition. It was in 1973 when the Baja ball first started rolling. This event was the first recreational ecological vehicle contest. The object of which was to design and fabricate a two-man amphibious all-terrain vehicle capable of negotiating a large area of virgin Michigan forests, including some of these. Yard-long and foot-deep water sections. While they weren't built with the intention for mass use, this one-off ATV race did end up lighting the bulb of this man. Dr. John F. Stevens, a professor from the University of South Carolina. In 1976 and traditionally, mechanical design had centered on a lot of theory. While there's no doubting that theory is important, actual industrial end use depended on factors like manufacturability, time and cost constraints. To help streamline the final industrial use into the learning bits and make it fun while it lasted, Dr. John F. Stevens came up with this novel concept to make learning about auto fun. From there began the Mini Baja, where the idea was, simply put, to design the most competitive vehicle for the least amount of money. That's where British lawnmower engine manufacturer Briggs & Stratton stepped in to provide each participating team an 8 horsepower 4 cycle horizontal shaft air cooled engine. Rules put in place required that the vehicles be capable of carrying a 6 foot 3 inch adult weighing 250 pounds and the vehicle must be capable of operation in loose sand, mud, rough terrain and occasional water up to 12 inches deep. This first of a kind university competition included just 10 universities from the US. By 1977, this group project became a learning vehicle for design courses. Fast forward to 1984 and the number of competing teams were up to 45. 1986 marked 10 years of the Baja as well as Briggs & Stratton as engine provider. The millennium came and went and international variations of the Baja started surfacing in Brazil, South Africa and South Korea. Meanwhile, Briggs and Stratton amped up the power scales unveiling a new 10 horsepower Intec Model 20 engine for good measure. It was in 2004 that the Indian angle came in. 
SAE India student members took part in the Mini Baja South Africa, winning the Best Improved Car Award and standing 11th overall. From then till 2006, several Indian engineering and technology universities showed their engineering genius, making their mark internationally. Finally, in 2007, the first Baja event was held in India for SAE students. Ironically and in a fitting fashion, right here in Indore. Spread over three days, this competition actually begins months before they even see the dirt track. That's because the design and prototype phase alone takes weeks of work. From conceptualizing, to making a CAD design, to actually prototyping, it's a team effort all the way. Look, they want bleed point on top, by default. While professors are available for any help, they're not allowed by rules to work on them hands-on. We permit our students to think wildly so that they can come out with the, uh, say, very wild ideas. And some of those ideas may be really innovations. And I think one of the main objective of Baha, which they look for, is uh, the new innovation so that industry can actually uh, implement on ground. Once the first car was made, it was a role model for the team which has participated now. Whatever intricacies were there in that particular car, they have tried to overcome. As you said, that's the weight part which was there. The thought process was already inculcated when they saw the first car. So naturally when they made the second car, at that time that thought process has come into mind. Now for the teams to come for further, they have to just improve on whatever further things are there. And so from this to this and finally this, it's usually a journey of a few months and a lot of learning from mistakes. Editor-in-chief Adil caught up with the students of Sinhagar Academy of Engineering in Pune to bring out the devil in the details with their entry to the Baha, the Atom ATV. This is your prototype chassis yeah. and looks like a pile of real junk which you have got to shape inside and all that. Yeah, <laughs> it was actually the junk piles which were there in college mm -hmm. but it was the right diameter. This is the Atom, tiny, potent and very very good. So good that it was better than what they expected. Yusuf, tell us where you started for this year's event. Considering that you had already done, your college had already done a car in 2009. We started off by basically just studying the 2009 model. 2009 car, what went wrong, what went right for them, and then worked, started working upon something that was our own, our own model. On ProE, on modeling, we could just create what we wanted with the help of CAD software. And once you know how to do it, you can just create basically anything. I see a lot of proprietary parts from a lot of Indian cars. Yeah. Where all uh, did you, what you call, source your half shaft stove, your pedals, your master cylinders? Well, uh, the pedals are from the Maruti Omni. Even the master cylinder is from the Maruti Omni. Our knuckle is from the 118 NE. And getting those knuckles from the junk cad was another job. And it was really difficult to get those knuckles. The half shaft is uh, from the, it's one end is from the Nano and one end is from the Mahindra Alpha or the Piaggio, they both have the same. The calipers are from the Pulsar and uh, the brake disc is from the Aviator, the rear brake disc is from the Pulsar. So it's a lot of just trying to fit everything into our design. So there you have it. Blood, sweat and weeks of sleepless nights and the Baja hasn't even begun. From 1976 until now, the Baja has been a vehicle of learning for students of automotive engineering across the globe. Now in India, it's reached its fifth edition and the competition seems to be hotting up. Who spilled their guts? Who took the glory? Let's find out. A little knowledge is a dangerous thing. No one should know that better than these ladies and gentlemen. And so for a thorough outlook, all their combined efforts over the last few months should pay off on the three days of the SAE Baja 2012. Because as Pawan Goenka of Mahindra and Mahindra has to say, there's a lot at stake. Those who win uh, get a very handsome uh, prize money. 
Uh, I think we are giving about 5 lakh rupees now to the winners, uh, so that's not a small amount of money. Uh, we do have an HR event that happens uh, along with this event uh, where many companies come and uh, recruit people right from here. Uh, so, so that process also is gaining more and more popularity of uh, even companies seeing that the people that they get from here uh, perhaps are better designers uh, in some ways than uh, uh, an average uh, engineer they will recruit from somewhere else. On day one of the event is when those hard work concepts and fabricating pay off. As judges go about evaluating the finished ATVs for design, execution and its ability to endure. Of course the real action happens on day two. where the key word is endurance. In its fifth edition this year, the Baja saw 80 teams from various engineering colleges across the country line up for the start in this final endurance test. And the rules of the game are simple. The team to complete the most number of laps in that duration wins. It's going to be one very exciting race. The guys are going to bring from no patience. The team captain from Venable College of Engineering in 2009. As the hours go by, teams are forced to deal with small issues as well as some big ones. While some problems require a deft hand, others relegate them to trying again next year. Like with any test, whether endurance or not, there are winners and runner-ups. Walking away with top honours and bragging rights for 2012 was SRM University Chennai. Our aim was always to win the championship, but once the car was made, the testing started. So there were some little tits and bits which were flaws in the car. We were not then aiming for the first prize, we were aiming to finish the event with a good hopes. Taking the first runner-up's place for PES College of Engineering, Pune. There are no hardships, they're just fun. The learning process is great. That's it, there, are, there aren't any hardships. And rounding up the top three as second runner-ups were Basaveshwara Engineering College, Bagalkot, who had their own set of niggles to overcome. It was very difficult to get a pass for in Bagalkot. We have to travel around 140 to 170 kilometers to even get a screw or nut. Screw bolt. So it was very difficult for us. Then also we, are, we worked really very hard. We didn't lose hope. There was a time when we thought those, our guy is not going to be made. All, the, all other faculties, our principal, they motivated us and they told to work hard. And this is the outcome of their motivation and our hard work. The Endurance Award, which assessed vehicles' abilities to operate at speed over rough terrain, was backed by the AISSMS College of Engineering, Pune. Speaking of endurance, it's not just on the field but also outside it that matters. As was the case of the Atom ATV from the boys from the Sinagar Academy of Engineering, Pune, who found themselves on the wrong side of the points tally after finishing fourth, then getting penalized by 400 points. I also see that you have got a lot of carbon fiber on you. How did you afford carbon fiber? <laughs> it's not carbon I wish it was carbon fiber. <laughs> it's not carbon fiber, it's just stickers that you get in the market which we just cut and applied wherever we need it. Well, now this is where things get very interesting. If the SAE Baha competition has to really grow, the people who do the scrutineering, the technical 
overview of the event need to be up to speed because as I saw in this year's event, they left a lot to be desired. I purposely mentioned this carbon fiber thing because one of the scrutineers wanted to tell them that you have spent more than so much money and at the 3 lakhs which you have spent, you couldn't get carbon fiber panels. The fact remains he was inadequate to police or scrutineer the job. There were so many things like this which happened at Baha. There were lots of horror stories. But our objective is not to what you call really focus on the horror stories but to learn from them so that kids like Yusuf and so many others who come from so many colleges, 25 per team and there are 100 uh, colleges which come across. Do the maths and you see that there is a collective passion of so many which could be ruined for the absolute abruptness or high-handedness of a person who has been placed on the job but doesn't know his mom. After the dust had settled, race endured and the sweat and tears culminated into awards for better efforts for the next year, one thing stands loud and clear. Passion, enthusiasm and hard work always pay off no matter what is to be endured.